Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. Please watch this video till the end and share it with all your friends. C programming is the first subject you are going to study in computer science. So you should be very focused and very in-depth understanding about the subject. That helps you a lot in understanding the remaining subjects. How from C programming you are going to understand the remaining subjects. Watch our entire playlist how to study computer science. So you are going to understand how C programming helps you in understanding the remaining subjects. So coming to today's concept. So before you start studying C programming first you have to study. Visit our playlist digital logic design playlist. The first 25 videos, these are the concepts we are going to discuss. So before you start studying C programming, first study these, these videos in digital logic design. These are very, very important to understand the subject of C programming. Why? Because we know as you are a beginner in C programming in computer science, you don't have any idea about what's binary number system. We have an idea about decimal number system. So these concepts explain you about decimal to binary conversion, binary addition, binary subtraction and binary multiplication. How negative numbers stored in binary format. These concepts will help you a lot in understanding the C programming. So before starting C programming, finish these concepts, then come to C programming. That helps you a lot. Now coming to the next step, see always have this visualization, any programming, any programming language, not only C programming language, you take any programming language, we give input from the keyboard that is going to be stored in the memory, we, we apply some logic and we are going to get the data required for un, required and displayed on the monitor or screen. This is what happening. We are giving input to the CPU and we are applying some logic and display it on the screen. So the first thing in the programming language you have to understand is how the data entered here is read into the program. How the data is displayed on the screen. This is the visualization you should have in in C programming, not only in C programming, any programming language, how data is read from the keyboard, how data is going to be displayed on the screen. The first session in our C programming playlist is going to discuss about input output. So these are the concepts of printf, scanf and operators. Whenever you are studying these concepts, printf, scanf and operators, these related to input output, how data is read into the program. How data is displayed onto the screen. So get that graphical visualization. See how different types of data will be there. How it is going to read the different types of data. How it is going to display the different types of data. What's different types of data means? You may have integers, strings, sentences, paragraphs. How a paragraph is read into the program. Like that have that graphical visualization and start thinking in that direction that's why we are explaining these points whenever you're studying this concept you have to think in the direction of how paragraph is read into the data into the program this is the visualization you should have then start studying it will be very very easy for you to study c programming once you have the good understanding about c programming any programming language will be very very easy to understand this is the first session we are going to deal with. Uh, it may be 20 to 25 videos in our playlist. It's not uh, exactly around 20. These are the concepts. Whenever you are studying this concept, with that visualization, input, output, that visualization, start studying it. Now coming to the second session, logic construction. 95% of the logic construction is made using these concepts, if else and loops concepts. So here at this stage you need too much of practice, different examples to construct the logic. 
so we provide our content is going to provide the different examples different practice tests assignments so visit our website learningmonkey.in start studying at our website learningmonkey.in there we are going to provide different assignments practice tests and projects to make you understand the subject easily and quickly here you need lot of practice that is the point you have to remember what how much practice you can do do it here that helps you a lot in in doing the next session so much practice is needed at this area do multiple examples practice on your own so and here you should have the graphical visualization keyboard from the keyboard how it is going to read from how it is going to display on the screen coming to the third session third session memory the data that is read from the keyboard should be stored in a memory so here you need a graphical intuition how memory will be how memory will be how data is stored in the memory how we can access the data from this memory that you should definitely have that graphical understanding of the memory in the in the content we are going to provide that graphical understanding with this graphical understanding it's very very easy to understand the programming languages that is what our content is that is what we are going to show you so you should have a clear graphical intuition of memory how data is stored in memory and how we are going to access the data from the memory this this is the point key point you have to understand when you are studying these concepts uh, arrays pointers structures unions and one more one thing is whenever you are studying about functions here in these concepts arrays pointers structures and unions you are going to understand how data is stored in memory how program is going to store in memory that is what you are going to understand in functions how memory is allocated to program this helps you a lot in understanding the code in understanding the code so the memory visualization is provided in our content how functions are allocated space in memory with that how execution goes on step by step in these functions that is the visualization we provided so uh, understand much here you are going to understand how coding is executed how step by step it is going to execute with this visualization you will get deeper understanding of the programming language that this level of understanding is needed in order to study the remaining subjects in computer science in very very easily so our entire content is going to provide make you understand the graphical visualization visualization of the entire computer science subject this is the first subject you have to start so start studying c programming in this direction so it will be very very easy for you to understand the remaining subjects in the next uh, next video we are going to so what's the subjects you have to start after completion of c programming and from this concept how you are going to extend the subject that is the what we are going to discuss in our coming videos so stay tuned please share it with all your friends and family members that helps us a lot thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you